Welcome everybody to this session about how to accelerate digitalization uh, using a, a modern MDM platform, 360 degree view. I'm going to talk about data and I'm going to talk about uh, the journey towards Danske commodities uh, choosing uh, Relchio as our uh, MDM uh, provider. The agenda is divided into four topics. Uh, I'm going to talk about uh, the digital agenda and how we use Uh, the environment to push this. I'm going to uh, share some insights on how we defined and began our journey within uh, master data management. I'm also going to explain how we uh, commercialize our master data and, and use technologies to, uh, to push uh, investments into our data. Um, and last, I'm going to explain how we retain the momentum on, uh, of this journey Uh, when you see yourself in the execution phase. My name is uh, Lars Thompson. I'm the Chief Data Officer and Business Intelligence Manager at Danske Commodity as an energy trading business in Aarhus, Denmark. Uh, I've worked with Business Intelligence for more than a decade. Uh, and today I have a, a divided role where I both have a, a business intelligence uh, responsibility, but also have a more strategic involvement in us Uh, pushing the, the, the digital agenda. The first topic is about digital drivers. So digital transformation is at the center of today's struggle for sustainable competitive advantage for all industries and the energy trading business is uh, no different. I would like to share some of the key uh, or fundamental changes that we see in the energy business today. Uh, continuing declines in costs for wind, solar, and hydro generation, coupled with the phase out of the supportive regulatory policies, have added new opportunities, but also new challenges for generation owners, project developers, and transmission and dis distribution companies, which Danske Commodities is a part of. So you can say that today digital is at the utmost center of today's struggle for sustainable competitive advantage. Together with the Boston Consulting Group, we started out by analyzing some of the key factors for success in the short-term markets, the short-term trading markets. This was basically done to support our current strategy uh, and understand some of the focus areas that we needed to invest in in the future. And digitalization was a major part of this. But DC, we decided to invest uh, heavily in two main areas, our scalable platform and algo trading. Um, looking at the nearby competitors just here in, in Little Aarhus, Denmark, we have entered into a massive data and automation race. And the ones winning are those with a very clear direction, the ones understanding the future requirements. So where do we begin? So what we did was that we basically uh, sat down and drew our 2025 vision. So where do we want to, to be when we reach 2025? And our vision 2025 is basically about dreaming and it's about setting a clear uh, strategic direction. It's about having future goals and also building motivation. Uh, and when you have a inspiring narrative We can also attract talent. And we can share the same storytelling for where we are headed. This vision outlines uh, four equally important quests. The first one is globalization. The second is automation. Third is the green transition. And fourth, it's our people. And having this vision from my perspective as a chief data officer, I needed to understand and uh, explain how data can support this vision. So we set out by defining a data strategy. The data strategy in Danske Commodities is defined as a mission statement acknowledging the value of an organization's data. So saying first, data is an asset. 
uh, it defines the vision and also a strategic direction for how we develop data and tech related capabilities. And then it basically combines the projects and these initiatives linked to the commercial strategic target. Then we have the direction. I would like to share some of the conclusions from our data strategy, which the data strategy and this analysis phase is um, today uh, almost two years old. But basically, uh, the data strategy will implement an efficient data organization. We uh, want to deliver competitive data platforms, and we also want to empower the users. So the way we did that was basically first to understand where we are today, and then identify some of the pains, some of the challenges. And if you look at the situation today or back in, in 2018, Danske Commodities is not different from other data-driven organizations. We see data as a natural part of our value chain, and we are aware of the importance of data in our everyday business and in our everyday processes. Today, our business model, it relies on the ability to turn data into knowledge and knowledge into profitable trading strategies. Hence, data is a key enabler for us. And we also possess very strong competences within advanced data gathering, within data preparation, analysis, and modeling. So the knowledge of how to exploit data is basically fundamental to support the future growth. But we also identified some challenges. So even though data is a natural part of the value chain, we did not treat data as a strategic asset. We did not have the sufficient and transparent data governance, and we didn't have a clear strategic overview and prioritization of data initiatives. We did not have a, the trust in data, and that undermined our digital initiatives. So we needed to do, or we needed to change how we saw data, how we use data and work with data. That led to, uh, or revealed three overall focus areas organize to win, platform to compete, and empower to execute. And the intent is to improve better day-to-day -day data support, a better data lineage, understanding the data lifecycle management using modern master data management platform to visualize how data flows end-to-end. -end. We needed to invest in our platform. We needed to secure streaming data platforms, support our algo trading in uh, achieving state-of-the-art machine learning and advanced modeling platforms. And then we also needed to get close to the business, improve cooperation capabilities, and then organize basically around data using a modern master data management uh, platform. We needed to secure data ownership. We needed to have mandate. We needed to have transparent processes for how to maintain our master data. The next step in our data strategy process was to understand our organization. So we did a, a thorough analysis and based on, uh, on interviews with the business, we identified pains regarding our data organization, our platform, and how we empower the users to use data. Um, this slide basically shares some of the detailed quotes that we got from this interview sessions. And if you look at these nine quotes, you can see at least 30% of them tap directly into achieving a better master data management. So having a platform that can secure more structured, controlled, sanitized, and quality assured master data integrated into your system landscape. So basically, these four quotes are some of the clear uh, arguments that led to our decision to invest in what we called a next generation master data platform. Uh, and I will go a bit more into detail about the process towards choosing Ralcio as our vendor, as our partner, when we talk about master data management. The next step for our data strategy was to uh, visualize the journey. So we needed to 
uh, have the organization to understand the movement, the journey from A to B. And we needed to do that individually for each team in the organization. And to support that, we developed a data and analytics maturity model to analyze and identify gaps and then set the directions for DC's maturity regarding data analytics. And this maturity model basically uh, is the cornerstone for how to, to ongoingly measure, monitor, and set the new directions for how to build data related capabilities. If you look at the different levels here, we go from flying blind to beast mode, and this is highly data driven. So each level is about getting in control. It's about having structured data. And if you move up the, the ladder, you reach uh, the uh, requirements to have master data management. You need to have an integrated system landscape to get to these more sexy levels about being auto intelligence, beast mode, uh, being able to adopt exponential technologies. You need to be way more mature than we were at the, uh, the current situation. And this led to the first strategic investment decision that was to get in control of our master data. Being able to commercialize data and technologies is important. You need to be able to tap into the corporate strategy you need to be able to understand your value chain and purpose for the digital enables. How can they support the commercial vision? If we look at Danske commodities, our value chain is pretty simple. It consists of three phases with activities, systems, and data flowing underneath to ensure our competitive edge. And if you take a bottom-up approach here, we have some guiding principles to ensure that we take informed decisions on how we implement new business. We have master data management as a cornerstone on how to support how data flows end to end. And then we have our platforms. Above that, of course, we have systems and we have activities or processes flowing from left to right, from pre-trade, trade to post-trade. That's also how our organization is divided uh, from the front office, the trading teams, the analytics teams, algo trading teams, to our backbone, the back office, the post-trade processes, where we also need to have sometimes a bit more structure on our data. One of the main pains in our interviews and our analysis was that master data did not flow uh, structured across our value chain. So the same data needed in pre-trading processes is also needed in the post-trading processes. When we do a trade, we also need to be able to settle invoice and clear that trade. That's the exact same data. It's the exact same counterparty. It's the exact same client. So having a better structure, knowing that you have integrated system landscapes, landscape was, was a key factor for us. Uh, that's also one of the, the main um, roads to understand your requirements is that you have a clear value chain where you see data flowing end to end and master data as a, um, as a fundamental part of you uh, doing business. After agreeing that we needed to improve our current master data management, we needed to define the journey towards selecting a more modern MDM platform. Using the analysis from the data strategy, we identified the pains resulting in direct or indirect profit loss. We used our assets and to be state to identify the specific actions to maturing uh, our current state individually for each team in the organization. And using our value chain, we visualized how data flows and the purpose and the value contribution to supporting the commercial strategy. 
That led to a decision on a new master data management platform. It was clear to us that we needed to have a more modern master data map platform, a more responsive master data platform. We had multiple domains. We needed to implement cross organization domains supporting both customer master data contracts and technical assets master data. We needed to have a modern effective integration layer readiness that enabled strong system integrations. The purpose here is to avoid manual processes and automize the entire system landscape. Relchio ended up between six different vendors being the strongest master data management provider. With all of these different uh, capabilities, we also saw a much more modern approach to how to control, how to implement, how to maintain master data using a graph database that also enabled possibilities to interact with the data that is not available with the legacy MVM vendors. This process took more than a year and today we have migrated most of our main master data management domains. We have an integrated system landscape and we use Relchio both as a master data management hub for how to interact with data, but also how to ensure a efficient synchronization of data throughout our entire system landscape. So as the statement in the bottom left say, master data management is inevitable. It is regardless of when and how you approach it, it's quickly becoming a strategic necessity for digital business. I started out by saying that the journey begins with the top level buy-in, but your success depends on a bottom-up approach to data awareness that enables a strong data culture. So data, it is an asset and it must be treated accordingly. You need to acknowledge that investments in data as you invest in people is as a necessity. And to retain momentum, you also need to continually understand, monitor, and measure how you use the data. The technical tools, the competences, and the requirements, they will involve constantly. And you need to remain agile to adapt. That's also very important when you look at selecting a vendor for your master data management. You need to have an agile approach. You need to be able to have a supporting system that enables you to ongoingly be able to, to change and adapt uh, to your environment. And harvesting the value of data will never end. Everyone will join the race. So if you're not already embarked on this journey, you need to do it. So data is not only for the energy trading business, for all uh, industries becoming more and more important. And we need to be able to focus on this strategically. You need to be able to acknowledge data as a strategic asset, and you need to be able to secure your data by investing in the right systems. That is one of them, uh, uh, structured, efficient master data management system as Relchio that we chose um, that basically binds our entire system landscape together. It enables us to scale our business. It enables us to implement efficient processes across the entire value chain. Not having structured linked data across your value chain will limit your ability to scale your business and to exist tomorrow. That concludes my presentation for today. I hope you've learned something from our journey towards selecting Relcio as our MDM partner. Um, 
feel free to reach out. My contact information uh, is at the first slide. Uh, I'm always happy to interact. Thank you.